For this technique, the objects have to be uh, overlapping. So I'm gonna drag the circle over the word hello and then select both of them at the same time and then go into object and then I'm going to envelope distort and there are three options. The one that I'm looking for is the third one, which is make with top object. There is also a shortcut, which is a alternate command C or if you're using a, a PC it will be alternate control C. There you go. It brings the text within the shape that was overlapping. It works with any shape, with any text. So I'm going to select in this case with a pentagon and the same uh, text. Envelope distort. Again, make with top object. And uh, here you go. The interesting thing is that at any point in time you can uh, double click on it, carry on editing the text, and uh, clicking uh, uh, your selection tool, you will be closing the text frame and you see that it's basically updated the text within uh, the same shape. It will uh, allow to edit any text that have been placed before. Now the uh, third and last example is by overlapping a star to the word hello. I select both of them at the same time. Again, same story. I go to object, envelope distort, make with uh, top object and you see that now the word hello is within uh, the star, but uh, what we're going to do next is to distort the star further by using the uh, direct selection tool, which is the white arrow here. I'm going to select any of the points of the star and distort it further by pulling the points out and you see that the text adjusts accordingly. So you can achieve basically any sort of uh, effect through this distortion method.